Okay, Austin, this is from last weekend. Now, one thing that I noticed as you were swinging early on, and I, you know, and, and it got better after we talked about it, but I want to make sure that you realize, hey, I, as a hitter, I want to make sure that I, I get in a real powerful position. And I want to make sure that as I, as, <clears throat> and when I start off in a real good powerful position and I load, I want to stay, I want to stay powerful. I want to stay comp compact. Okay. And as the ball gets to that hitting zone right in there, I want to drive towards that zone and I want my, my body and, and, uh, uh, the anatomical makeup of my body to get stronger as I move towards the baseball. As my bat head moves towards the ball, I want my body to get stronger. And it just looked like you were kind of guiding the bat head through the, through the zone, guiding it through the zone. Also, I want you to look, when I put it in slow motion here, I want you to look... Uh, Look at your right eye, which is the one closest to us right now, and see how it goes towards the baseball, okay? Or put it this way, your left eye goes goes towards the baseball. So, you you know, as a hitter, I want to make sure that my left eye does not drift towards third base. If you focus on that the next couple of weeks and just keep in your thoughts, hey, I'm going to keep my, my left eye away from third base. I want everything to move towards the line of travel of the ball. My head, my eyes to move towards the line of travel. Watch your watch your left eye here. See that's excellent and that's what I'm talking about. Now if I was to throw curveballs, you know, does a guy tendency, that, uh, it, their tendency sometimes is when you see a curveball you'll see their head, their shoulders, everything kind of move towards third base. And that's what I'm talking about. I want you to make sure you're you're really focused. You had a real good round, and I know that you've said that you've been really slowing, uh, slowing down the pace of your load. You've been loading earlier, and you've really kept it simple, which is a good thing. Now another thing too, buddy. Um, see how high your hands are. That's fine to start there. It's fine to start there, but when you load back like that, when you load back, and, and you'll see it in slow motion, get your hands to where when you do load, your hands are getting more towards the height of your shoulder, a little bit below your shoulder, armpit, so to speak. You know, I have showed you clips of Babe Ruth and how, you know, he started with his hands pretty low and then they came up. To about you know boob high so when you see these in slow motion and you go okay you know where did mine start out by the time I get to my full load here my hands are still up there so they've got to really come down on low pitches all right that's that's what I'm, I'm talking about it doesn't affect you as much on pitches that are up around your waist but the ones that are down towards your knees you see, your hands really have to go, and that bat head has to go a long way down. So load, hands move down towards where the lettering is on your shirt. There, see, they're, they're still a foot, two foot high. It's going to feel weird at first, but once you start realizing, I, you know, the faster I can load, the sooner I can load and get to that point, the better I'm going to be in the long run. All right. I will get back with you and your mom, and uh, I'll see you sometime soon.